Hi peoples, it's been ages since I've recorded a video, but I'm here to show you the searcher, main visual basic, 2008 express decision. Now, what is different compared to other ones, just like this, <coughs> is the fact when it comes across a folder that's access denied or anything, it doesn't cancel the search, it doesn't stop, doesn't have an error. It just like ignores the folder and continues on. So here's the code. Yeah, this is just some testing. We get rid of that if we want to. Now I'm just scrolling through it just to show you that the code is a lot different to um, the other one. It does involve Two list boxes and a timer. And I'll just show you how this works. Okay. So usually if you search a C drive or something, it will have an error at recycler or system volume from information. This one doesn't. So just put that. Search any file. You can also with this one you can just have nothing. And that will just mean it searches for any file. Let me show it. It does not have an error. It hasn't had an error at system volume information. And the application also does not freeze up while it's searching. It may freeze up like a few for a second or so, but it then generally unfreezes. And this is all the folders that search folders found, files found. And this will go on for a while until it's found every file and folder in C drive. And yeah, as you notice, it hasn't come up with an error saying can't scan system volume information or something because it everything's inside try events and the code's also different. What it does is if you type in C drive, it search for all the files and folders in the root directory of that drive, which is just C, and then add all the folders found into here and they'll start scanning inside those folders found more folders until it finds all the folders on the hard drive and then the file scan will go through the list, scroll down through the list and search for all the files in all the folders found and that will eventually find every file and folder on your computer so yeah it is a lot different to just typing that like one line of code with the default one that always has errors. <coughs> this one, it actually works, and I'll test it. Like, just show you. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'm going to upload the source in a zip document on foreshared.com, where you can just download it and edit it the way you like. And steal the code to use it for something. I don't know. Well, yeah, okay. Well, I hope you enjoy this newfound searching technique that does not have any issues with it. Um, okay, so I just thought I'd add a, a comparison in. So here is the old version. It, it's where it uses the found file and looks using the Windows way. Now it's got text box one and text box two. So I'll just file name and the path. And then the list box is where the files are. This was an extra function for quick file replace, so you just find the file and then all the files that are found during the search will be replaced with this file. So I guess what it was a useful feature. But I gave up on this one because it was a failed search. Yeah, I'll just show you the comparison. Now, the path, C drive, do the same as before. Now, I'll do all files. Just here. Yeah, and click search. Error. Access denied. Documents and settings. Instant. Access denied. Now, that didn't come up on my other one because it has all those kind of errors fixed. So yeah, this is why I'm showing you the newer version because this kind of
crap, it's really, really annoying. And there's no way to get around it unless you use something like mine. Okay, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope you now enjoy your new search you get. It's a free gift from me for watching my video and giving me views. Don't forget to comment and rate. Well, you can't really rate me, you have to rate up or down, but try to rate up. Please don't rate down. I don't like it if you rate down. I work very hard on my search up, so I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Goodbye.